Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Thursday. Rob here from Southwest Florida Television. Well, we've got a morning without rain. That's nice. Temperature 75 degrees here right now. Expecting a high of 85. That water is really warming up. The water is 85 degrees now. Beautiful out here. Sun's just coming up. Low tides, oh, just a little before nine. You can see the tides a little ways out there. Maybe we'll have some better luck shelling this morning. Maybe we'll get lucky and see another sea turtle crawl. We had a successful crawl last night, or the night before last, I'm sorry. We're up to 11 nests when I left yesterday. 11 sea turtle nests, so maybe we'll have a few more today, you never know. But you can see the tide's pretty far out there right now. A lot of beach here. This is all kind of new right here in front of me. This beach has really changed shape. Wow, lots of shells out here this morning. I have no idea where to begin. <laughs> Start with a, one of our fighting conks. There's a nice big pile of shells just ahead of me. Very quiet here. Hey, good morning if you're just tuning in. Happy Thursday. Boy. It's supposed to rain later today, I don't know. We'll see. Lot of shells down here. Having a hard time focusing my eyes on them all. Here comes a pelican if he makes it by me here. Oh, he dove into the water just up in front of me. Here's a helicopter coming. It's our one of our mosquito control helicopters. Boy, he's just above the trees. I'm gonna zoom in. You're gonna see how low this helicopter is. Maybe, maybe you can see his light through the trees down there. He's just above the trees. Making his way. See his light there. right at us. There he comes. Right. Yep. That's the mosquito control. Flying right down along the beach here. 
He's gonna turn around and come back, make another pass. He's just above the trees. We would be overrun with mosquitoes if it wasn't for them. Well, he's going to be buzzing us here this morning. He'll be back and forth. No see out here on the beach this morning. Oh, there he comes back again. Yeah, we'll be hearing that helicopter fly by several more times, I'm sure. Just over the trees, right over in here. See him? He's probably 30 feet in the air. <laughs> Unbelievable. There's a nice scallop shell down here. There's a, a definite keeper. Look at this helicopter. Look how low he is. Watch, you're gonna see him just, I mean, he's just above the trees in there. See him? Wow. Incredible. Anyway, I just picked up this beautiful scallop. Nice looking scallop shell. Look at that. That's a beauty right there. Definitely going to keep that one. There's an old whelk shell down here. A little chipped up. Probably a keeper though. A few chips in it. Kind of losing its color. What else do we have along here? There's another angel wing. Been finding a lot of angel wings on the beach. Wow, this one needs some cleaning up. Look at the size of it. That's a, that's a perfect angel wing. Just needs some cleaning up there. Look at that. That is a beauty right there. I can't put that in my pocket. They're really fragile. That's a beauty. That's a nice size angel wing right there for this beach. It's 
seen several, quite a few little conchs on the beach, quite a few conch shells in all different conditions. Here's one with a big hole in it, fighting conch. Haven't seen any olive shells here yet. There, what's out in the water here? I'm gonna turn around, start heading up the beach here in a few minutes. Maybe we'll spot some olive shells out there. There's a little cockle shell down here. Nice little cockle. Look at the water here. The water should be starting to clear up here. Not as big a waves as we had yesterday. Yeah, the colors are beautiful. Beautiful green. It's one of our dredging barges out there. Gorgeous out here. Still, still quite a few shells right down here beneath my feet in the water. Maybe another couple hours when this tide goes out. I'll be able to access them. Just right along this, right along the edge of the beach here right now. Still underwater. Beautiful out here. Sun's just coming up over the trees. I see our friend Roy up at Wiggins Pass, up at the north end. Seventy-five degrees out here right now. Expecting a high of eighty-five. The water temperature is eighty-five also right now. nicer than yesterday and the day before. So far, I still see it. See that helicopter flying around there? They're spraying for mosquitoes. They're going to be here for a little while until they run their tank out. Spraying all around the park. That's nice. Got a lot of no see out here. There's my nicest find so far this morning, this big angel shell, angel wing shell. Usually these are broke. They're very, very fragile. This one needs to be cleaned up, but that's a beauty right there. that share button let's get some more people watching here there's a little turkey wing down here a little turkey wing shell it's a nice whoops that's a nice little turkey wing I'll probably add that to my collection it's nice to have a couple of those that's a really nice little one just next to it 
put that in my pocket. It's a nice little kitten's paw. Great color on that kitten's paw right there. That's a nice looking one. Kitten paw. Earlier I picked up a little cockle shell. Here's a bigger cockle shell. We saw a lot of these yesterday. Saw a lot of cockle shells yesterday on the beach. What a great morning. Probably the nicest morning we've had in a few days. The tide's still on its way out here. Got some blue sky finally this morning. Gotta love that. Whoa. Looks like they're getting ready to move the barge in that's offshore that's pumping the sand. The barge is on the left. Probably gonna push that in closer to shore and start the dredging process again. They stopped because it was pretty rough the past few days. Oh, Linda, if you're watching, Scott and Linda, there's a pile of shells here. Just south of the middle of Area 4. Just south of the boardwalk. There's a big pile of shells on the beach for you guys. all these shells down here. Wow. Who knows what all's buried in there. All this new beach out here. By where Roy sits, up in Area 4. Pretty amazing. Shells scattered all over here. Great big piece of worm rock down here. Great big piece of worm rock. That is so neat looking. I think we saw this yesterday. Look at that. That's a neat looking piece of worm rock there. It's got it's all, the shells are all encrusted with the worm shells. Look at that. That is incredible. Wow. It's huge. <laughs> Anything down here by the water? Sun's just starting to peek up over the trees there. Beautiful here this morning. Absolutely gorgeous out here this morning. Well, here's a little lightning whelk, a really old lightning whelk. Look at that, it's lost all its colors and turned gray. A 
that's left of a little lightning whelk. how much longer that helicopter is going to be flying around. Look at the pattern in the sand. As the tide was going out, some water got trapped in here. It was like a little tide pool. See the little ripples in the sand? Water just was slowly making its way down there and then back out. And it left all these little ripples. Boy, this is where there's a lot of sh a lot of shells have been collecting. Right here in this this curve here. Right in here, it's been catching a lot of seashells. It's interesting to see what's out there at low tide. See all these shells here? Look at them all. There's thousands of them down here. Water's starting to clear up a little bit finally. The storm really churned up the water. I'm really happy with this find. This nice angel wing this morning. Take a toothbrush and clean that up. A great shell right there. I'll look up here on the beach. There's a lot of little shells all scattered all over here. the helicopter again. Looks like he's done. Mosquito control. Collier County mosquito control. One of the helicopters. They have a fleet of them. back here in the water. Anything? I'd love to see some dolphins. Perfect conditions right now for spotting them. comes a pelican flying right by us. And there he goes. They're so cool, those pelicans. Look how that beach sticks out there now. Isn't that something? They're working on moving the one of the barges out there.
Oh, here's a pile of shells up here. I'm gonna go sit this angel wing up by Roy's stuff here. So I don't have to carry it. Hopefully he won't break it and hopefully I'll remember to bring it home. Sit it on one of his flip flops. There's Roy standing down there. Water's really starting to get shallow here. I thought the helicopter was leaving. He's still here. What's up, Daddy O? Wonderful. Nice pink sky this morning, huh? Wasn't that glorious? It was. Boy. Oh, boy. Pink sky and then the oh, sun. Oh, look how high he is now. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what he must be spraying. Oh, yeah. Something. Now he's. Oh, that's another one. That's the second oh, one coming. One. Yeah, that's the second one coming in. This guy was wheeling around over the trees. Oh, there. he was, what, 30 feet off the ground there yeah, in some I places. Don't know he's spraying way lower than. No oh, mosquitoes. Mosquitoes for sure. Oh, see them, boy. Oh, weren't they, they bad today? Oh, I should have put on my spray stuff. I didn't put it on. Man, yeah, they, they were me they up. jumped all over me this morning. Oh, bad. Any dolphins down there? No, no, aren't it? One fisherman. One fisherman. And the sun came up between the big high rises. It was really beautiful. And wasn't that a pink sky? Oh, oh it was early this glorious, morning. Man. Glorious, glorious. Right around 6.30, it had was really nice. Weeks. I wonder if the rain's getting over with. Listen, I set I set a bit a shell on top of one of your flip flops over there. Hey, good. I want to. I don't want to carry it with me. It's real fragile. Yeah. So be careful when you pick it okay. up there. Okay. So I'll get it on the way back. Good show. They break real easy. Yeah. It's called an angel wing. Oh yeah, you've gotten those before. Yeah. 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 Good. Wonder if we got any new sea turtle nests. I see I the know. ranger down there. I'll have to see that video you said where uh, um, Jennifer, uh, Jennifer got it. Jennifer yeah. saw a turtle come on up on the beach. Yep, right down there. Yep, right down almost where the ranger oh, is right yeah. now. I haven't seen that video on my. Uh, Let's tell her. Well, it's her video. Tell her to. Yeah. Okay. To send it to you or. Oh, look at these. They're trying to beat me out here. Hey, there's old Scott and Linda. Scott and Linda. How about that? Uh-uh. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. All the good stuff's down there. I saved it for you. I'm telling you. Yeah, we saw that angel Roy, I'll be back in a while. Right. Roy getting a hug. Oh, first hug of the day. Too many days, Matt, at the beach. Yeah. Wow. Good to see you. Wow. Shells out here today. Oh, there's a ton of them down there. I didn't even take the time to go through them. No. Yeah. There's a, I guess oh, there's, there's a ton of them up there, too. The there's a... Uh, you're going to be able to get out here, too, in a few minutes. Oh, yeah. Another hour? I mean, that's going to... There's probably just a couple, in, a couple inches of water out here. Take a walk out on this sandbar here. See if there's anything crawling around out here. Saturday evening, found a huge, huge whelk out here. You can see the water is just a couple inches deep right here. Probably gonna get exposed as the tide goes out.
There's Roy back there with Scott and Linda. It's nice being able to walk out here. I haven't been out in the water for a while on the sandbar. Let's take a quick photo, bear with me. Sorry about that, I'm back. Just taking in the view here, taking a couple pictures. Gorgeous out here in the water. Water temperature is 85 degrees, can you believe that? Man, that's pretty warm. Hoping to maybe see something interesting out here. You can see right where the waves start to form, right there. That's the edge of the sandbar. See right there? A lot of times, right on the, the outside edge, the gulf side of the sandbar is where you can find some really interesting shells. See little price uh, sand dollars and sea stars but remember everything you find out here is usually going to be alive so make sure you check before you take anything home you don't want to take any shells with live animals inside them home look at that isn't that beautiful the sun rising here reflecting on the water what a picture That is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. There's some, I've already been down to the pass. Really? No. <laughs> I know there's, what time you got out here. There's some great stuff out here this I morning. I when you got out here. I mean, I'll, I guarantee you there's something right here. We were, uh, something really nice. We were just getting uh, motivated. And just I getting motivated. Ding. I heard that ding and I'm like, ah, oh, you got out there already. <laughs> I forgot you didn't have to Oh, is that there. what it does? It dings on your phone? Yeah. Yep. I'm gonna have to disable that when you don't, when you're not around. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Oh yeah. Then I'll just have to set the alarm and come out here anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I was up. We were up early. I'm surprised you didn't steal my angel wing. I set it over by Roy's about chair it, there. Man, that was a nice find right <laughs> off the bat. Beautiful. I can't believe there've been a few of them out here. That's oh yeah, for some reason they've been showing up. Scott and Linda, great people. They just closed on their house down here. They just moved from Michigan, closed yesterday. So they are official transplants. Great people. where we lost all our beach up here. Sad, sad. I'm just waiting for Scott and Linda to find something nice.
There's a little worm tip rolling around in the surf out there. Just bobbing around in the water. Actually, start. You can see the bottom here. Finally, the water is definitely starting to clear up. I just. What'd you find? A little moon shell. Moon. You got a moony. Oh, oh that's a nautica. Ones. This is actually a gaudy nautica. Yeah, it's a different kind of shell. Yeah. Moon shell. Not a shark eye, a yeah. gaudy nautica. That's a nice one. I found a few of that color lately. Yeah, these are Since these the are beautiful dredge, with the stripes. Nice one. Big That's surface. probably worth about what two fifty. Oh, easily. Three hundred. Oh, <laughs> probably way more. <laughs> What's the? How's the bag lady doing? No, I'm alright. How's the bag lady doing over here? <laughs> Nothing too Nothing yet. yet. Nothing. Oh, what? Oh, an old fighting conch. Look wow. Look that. It's been rolling a while. That's been around a while. It's not alive, is it? What are those no. things on it? Some, oh, I've, I've seen yes. that before. I don't know what that is. It's like squishy. Mm -hmm. It's probably poisonous. I just touched it. Oh, well. My fingers are going to fall off. Well. Yeah. We all That's the go. price you got to pay. <laughs> Everything kind of ends up here. Yeah, well, I can get by it today. But look at that. I mean, if you, you can walk all the way out to here now, it's really shallow out here. I'm in. about an hour ago. Yep, they say about nine o'clock. We're low tide. Lots of lots of stones offshore here lots of rocks in the water big pieces of broken shells here lots of stones a lot of clam shells some really cool fossils can be found here You never know in these rocks when you pick them up what you're going to find fossilized inside of them. Grab one and just for the heck of it and see. Isn't that cool? All kinds of neat rocks. There's another, there's a fighting, couple fighting conchs. Two fighting conch shells right down there. Beautiful shells, the fighting conchs. Lots of shells get caught in this little ridge line right here. It's kind of hard to walk on these stones here. Something bouncing around down here. Yeah, just a piece of a shell. Ouch. That is tough on the feet out here. Boy, there's quite a few shells washed up on the beach. Scott and Linda better be finding some nice stuff. I'm 
just up here, all the shells end. It just comes to an abrupt end. Our beach disappears. Like there's some shells down here starting to collect the tide needs to go out just a little bit further so you can see down here still a little hard seeing down here with the waves There's a big old piece of a big piece of an old lightning well. Look at that. Wow. That thing would have been huge. Look at the size of a piece of that shell. An old lightning well. Wow. That would have been a neat find. And hey, this is pretty. These are neat when you find these. Fighting conch, just a half of a fighting conch, but it's so neat when you can look inside there. Isn't that cool? Fighting conch. What's left of a fighting conch. Lots of broken shells. I'm seeing lots of pieces of whelk shells washing up on the beach here. Lots of broken lightning whelks. Helicopters on its way back here. They were out spraying for mosquitoes here in the park early this morning. What'd you find? Ooh, that's a beautiful slipper shell. Linda, that is a nice slipper shell. Look at that. Beautiful pattern. The slipper shell. That is awesome. Great find. tide will be a little lower on the way back and we'll see a little more of these shells out here. You can see them in between the waves. Lots of shells. What's left of our beach? Ugh. Not much left here. This is really cool. This is a big, big horse pond. What's left of it, kind of the, the roots of that tree that grew around that horse pond shell. Pretty cool. Lord knows how long that was buried under there. Not buried yet, eh? Not yet. That's pretty neat. I thought you were going to bring your saws all out here. He looked like he was part of nature and maybe wanted to stay. There you go. You know, it's not, pretty neat. I'm not totally done with the idea because something tells me this whole thing's coming down at some point. Oh, yeah, eventually this whole tree stump. buried in anyway and gone. Yeah. So you won't be able to see it much longer. But, but who knows? Uh, 
I might have tools in my Who truck. knows how long that thing's been under there. Oh, gosh, that could be in the roots like that? Yeah, I mean, that thing was under three feet of sand, right. at least. Buried under there for Lord knows how long. Long time. Maybe the Calusas put it there. A normal baby well? No, yeah, that that's the, that's the op that's um pear. the no. pear. It's got it on no, the it's other side. Yeah. Okay. I but thought it's a it normal was one. Yeah. That's right. That's yep, the pear. The Babies. <laughs> what else did you find? Oh, nice, a nice worm shell. I got a nice worm shell. A couple little. Oh wait. That is a nice worm a shell. A tulip. Awesome. Ooh. And a hey. Uh huh. A little. There's somebody oh. in there. Oh, is it? Oh, there's man. somebody in there. Oh. There's a crab in there. Yep, yeah, there's a crab in there. That jerk. Good little time. crown conk. Oh. Good thing he wasn't in my pocket yet. Uh. <laughs> in the water over there. That's a nice little tulip shell that there. Is in wow. good shape. That's a great tulip. A very nice tulip shell. That's wow. it. That's good it deal. for you that's, so far. That's great so far. That worm shell is awesome too. He's a good sized worm. Yeah, that's a nice sized that worm there. Nice worm, Scott. Yeah, you know, do what I can. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's gonna be a lot of stuff here, I think. Right along the edge here of the shore. As soon as this tide goes out, a little bit more. Wow. Well, Scott's found some nice little shells there so far this morning. That little tulip shell, that was great. The tulip. Interesting stuff out here to say the least. Anything interesting? Any sea turtle crawls? None last night. Oh. Yeah, this is horrible. <laughs> yeah, well, it's ever changing. It's a barrier island. Oh, yeah. It's constantly changing. Yep. That's what I tell people. It comes and goes. It does. Constantly. Yep. And next week it look, could look completely different. Absolutely. Another hundred yards out. Exactly. I mean, what's amazing is look at four. Look how wide it's getting. Yep. Four's getting wide, and this here, you know, it encroached probably 50 do you feet. Do you think it has anything to do with them dumping that sand out there? I, the can't, way? I can't make an opinion <laughs> I will not comment. There you that. go. <laughs> um, but like I said, you know, next week it could, it could go halfway out to the buoys. It's all Oh, changing. absolutely. Yep. You know, you're oh, yeah. You're it's out here constantly frequently. changing. You take a picture at the same spot at the same time every day for a year, and you do a time lapse of that. Oh, it's yeah. Wouldn't that be, yeah, wouldn't that be something? Yeah, wouldn't that be something? I've got some nice drone footage of this, and you can see over the years. I, I yep. want to get out here. I keep yep. the weather. I, when I schedule it, the weather's cruddy. Yep. And, well, you're still doing the aerial, yeah, too, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So we're going to, I'll bring that out and get some shots okay, now. Because be it's yeah. changed. Tremendously. Oh, yeah. Have a good day. You too. You. you want to give me a hand for a minute? What you want to do? Move the bench? I get. I got this. I got this thing going live, but um, Scott. Scott will help. Scott will help you. Oh, use it as a barricade. Yeah. Well, I'm going to put it here to keep people from stepping off. There you go. So Scott. You've got to be useful sometimes. You've got a special purpose this morning. Well, thank God I'm here, right? <laughs> going to help the ranger move the bench. Whose bench is this? This bench. I can't see what the sun is in memory of. Tom Leahy. That's pretty neat. Roy, obviously, Roy bought a bench and had it put up by where he sits for his wife, Audrey, in memory of Audrey. So they're gonna move this. It's in a kind of a little precarious spot there right now. 
Scott, good timing, Scott. That's going to help them slide the bench over. They're kind of going to use it as a little barricade, I think, to, so people don't walk off the edge there and break their neck. Scott got a job. Good. What'd you find, a moon? Oh. Nice. Under the tree. Under the tree, <laughs> yeah. It's amazing how the... The shells just wash up and yeah, you find them in the craziest the places. Yeah. Our friend, I, no. little pair. The, um, our friend, uh, Astrid, I told you, she found a dolphin skeleton. No. Yeah, when the sand washed away like this last oh, year or so ago, there was a little dolphin skeleton. No yeah, buried up wow. there. Incredible. That is Lord knows how old that was. Right. Yep, this beach is definitely changing shape. Big time. I'll turn around here. You'll see there's no beach in that little stretch of Area 5. We've lost a lot of beach there, all in there. Then down here, we gained a ton of beach. Down by where Roy sits. And I'm sure it has to do with this dredging. They're dumping sand offshore of the beach, and I'm sure it's affecting the, the tides, the current. Because it's funny, ever since they started dumping sand out in front of where Roy is, that beach has just gotten a weird shape. And it happened all when they started dumping the sand. So, it definitely has something to do with it. I don't know, I'm guessing we're about an hour away from low tide now. Best time for shelling is low tide. I think I saw a big turkey wing rolling around down here. Oh, where'd it go? Oh yeah, that's a nice sized turkey wing shell. Look at that, wow. That is a big turkey wing. Ooh, here's a beautiful whelk. See if I can find it. Nice big whelk shell. Just rolling around in the waves. A little worn. Doesn't have that pronounced point, that long point on the stem. That's a nice little lightning whelk. That just rolled up in these waves here. Wasn't that neat? See how fast the shells come and go. Well, we used to have a great big sandbar up here at the north end of the park. Now that's kind of changing. It's kind of shifted down to area four instead of area five. I saw a nice little cockle out in the water with a big hole in it. Go stick that up on the shell tree. Let's see, here's one of our 
a nice little tree over here we can stick it on. Go hang this cockle. For all of our friends who can't make it to the beach, we'll hang this, find a nice little spot here. There's a great spot. Okay, I'll hang it, uh, let's see, right on this little branch right there. How's that? There you go. We'll hang that for all you folks that can't make it to the beach. Remember, people hang shells in memory of a loved one that's passed away. That's what a lot of these shells have been hung for. We have quite a few trees with shells on them. Put that cockle right there. That's for you guys that can't make it out to the beach for your loved ones that have passed away. We're up in Area 5. This is the north end of Del Norwegian's Pass State Park in North Naples, Florida. Thursday morning. What did you find? Oh, that's a nice that's a scallop. That is a huge scallop. Yeah, wow, that's very good nice. Too. That's a great one. Wow. Great find. Yeah. That is a nice size scallop shell. Wow. Still have a little wave action out here, not as much as the past several days. Look around here. Beautiful morning. Absolutely gorgeous. Wiggins Pass just to the north of us. Barefoot Beach on the other side of the pass. Looking south. It's an old lightning whelk down here. You find a lot of these old shells washed up on the beach, pieces of them. Pretty cool looking when you look at the inside of them. It's an old lightning whelk shell. got a fisherman out here. I haven't been seeing a lot of fishermen with the nasty weather we've been having. This beach has really changed up here also. Lost a lot of beach up here at the north end of the park.
loving it out here this morning. We've actually got some blue sky. Look at that. Gorgeous. Gorgeous out here this morning. Expecting a high of 85 today. Which, by the way, that's the same temperature as the water. The water is 85 degrees right now. catches my eye along the surf here. In the surf. Nice little cockle shell I just saw rolling by. Oh, scallop! Oh, there to go. Darn it. Nice scallop. The waves just came and got it already. Darn it. It was a great scallop shell and I couldn't grab it in time. The waves came and pulled it back into the water. Gotta be really fast. Darn. I guess if you just stood in one place, eventually something really nice would just wash up at your feet. Nine o'clock, just a little before nine is gonna be the official low tide up here. So that's the best time to come and do some shelling low tide. Crazy. There's some great shells washing up here and I can't get them. As soon as I go for them, the waves pull them back. You just see them for a split second. Great, lousy connection here. Oh man, there's some great stuff out here, but I can't grab it fast enough. There's some great shells washing up and I just cannot grab them before the waves pull them back out. Crazy. I just saw a big wealth roll in and it, as soon as I saw it, it rolled back out. And then it drops off, there's a little ledge, it drops off into the deeper water and you can't see down there. There's a piece of a wealth. There's a piece of a lightning wealth. Darn it, there was another lightning wealth right down here. There's part of a lightning well. I 
I've seen some nice whelks come up here. I just can't grab them. It's a little too cloudy, the water right here. Still churned up. Oh well, you can't find them all. <laughs> that piece of a whelk there's another piece of a whelk man there are so many so many pieces of lightning whelks up here broken lightning whelks Another turkey wing down there. Oh, I'll go to grab it and it disappeared. Old turkey wing shell. Look at this. That's an old shell. A couple of shells have grown together. Look at that. It's like an old, originally an oyster shell. Wow. That's pretty cool. Lots of little black scallop shells up here. I thought I saw a moon shell down here. Still a little too much wave action. To spot something and grab it. We've made it up to the north end of the beach. This is Wiggins Pass at the north end of Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park. Quite a few fighting conks this morning. There's another nice little fighting conk. Always make sure there's nothing living inside before you take them home. The Florida fighting conch shell. I'd like to find a live fighting conch to show you what the little critter that lives inside looks like. A 
There's another conch shell rolling around in the waves down, right down there. See it? And off it goes. Well, I think it's time to turn around and head back down towards Roy, see what he's up to. There's a cockle with both halves of it. There's a whole cockle shell right there. Barely hanging together, a cockle shell. That's what they look like when they're out in the water, alive. The cockle shell. That's a great little fighting conchs along the, the beach this morning, fighting conch shells. but none of them have any conks inside. All the fighting conks are empty that are on the beach this morning. Oh well. Oh well, start walking back and see what we missed. You want, want a cockle? Oh, look at that, that's see, cool. It's, it's a heart. Aww. They make a little heart when you hold them up Aww. like that. He's... Yes, I do. This is the only, oh. look at the size oh, of that. Of wow, that would have been a big one. That would have been a big one. That would have been a huge. Uh-huh, mm. so I'm finding his big pieces. Oh yeah, look at that piece of coral too, wow. That's a funky, uh... That is wild looking. Is that metal or is it... Yeah, it's just a bunch of rock Wow, and that's wild looking. And... You yeah. want that? Yeah, I'll take it, thanks. <laughs> right, you have to push, you keep that's a rubber cute. band around yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Ooh, show. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, I don't think so. Where's a nice little piece of worm rock? Interesting, this worm rock. Very cool, the worm rock. Everybody should have a piece of worm rock in their collection. Well, sir. Oh man, you got some nice coral too, huh? Got a couple of nice big couple chunks, of these guys. That was really cool. Now you need a fish, a big aquarium. Yeah, well, Linda says she's getting one. I don't know oh, if we're putting any water in it or fish, yeah. but you know, she'll have an aquarium. It's an aquarium for shells. Yeah, I went <laughs> fishing. I went fishing. I got only half the alphabet. <laughs> half, half the alphabet. But I think this might going. be the whelk that was aggravating you down there. No, I saw. I got that one. There was a bunch of them out there. I mean, I, I saw I a murex. Came Gone. in, I couldn't grab it. <laughs> it was really frustrating. Well, ticking me off. I'll go back to a little more fishing and see if I can find Oh, yeah, something. there's plenty of shells out here. I, I know we missed a lot of them. Every day there's more. Yep. Maybe I'll see you guys later. Are you busy uh, moving now? Uh, no, no. I, I gotta, 
I gotta go get keys after we leave here, and uh, I'm gonna light up, put off a couple bug bombs in that place first. Well, there and, you uh, go. Might as well get uh, any start in infestation out of it. <laughs> well, congratulations and, uh, on the new yes, place. Thank That's you, awesome. sir. I appreciate it. But and welcome, so officially. We'll welcome, yes, welcome officially, to Southwest Florida. Uh, it's a relief, let me tell you. Yep, that's awesome. It's good to feel. So. Yep, I'll Excellent. see you later, Scott. Outstanding. Thanks, Rob. Signal's gotten kind of cruddy out here. Our signal just comes and goes here. Our cellular connection. There's no rhyme or reason. Clear days, we lose our cellular connection. Out in the pouring rain, we don't lose our connection sometimes. Just go figure. Different spots, different times. It is what it is. I got a little earlier start this morning. That was nice. I hope you enjoy these beach walks. I enjoy doing it. Love the little conversations that are going on in the comments section. That's what this is all about. Bringing people together. Be sure to introduce yourself to the group. Let everybody know where you're watching from. Share whatever information you like. The beach walk is just the platform for those conversations. Remember, I don't get paid to come out here and do this by anyone. If you want to make a little contribution, it's always appreciated. You can find my PayPal account information in the description of this post a little later at the conclusion of the live feed. And I'll also post a link where you'll be able to watch the video on YouTube, the little segments that drop out when you lose our connection. Usually those get saved. So you'll be able to see the whole video on YouTube and it's usually a little better quality than the live feed as well. So I'll share a link to that later. I'll, I usually post a couple pictures after my beach walk and you'll find that link in there in those photos. Boy, the sun just popped out, at least up at this end of the park. Today it's supposed to get up to around 85 degrees. Same temperature as the water right now, 85. No sea turtle crawls last night. No new crawls. Darn it. We're a month into sea turtle nesting season now. So the activity should start picking up. It should start getting busier now. We should start seeing more and more. I think one I think one time I walked the beach we had 11 crawls in one night 11 or 12 crawls that was incredible for this one stretch of beach Right now we have 11 nests on the beach Out of those 11 we probably lost a couple of them when Alberto came through here over the weekend really messed up our beach Sadly it he probably took out a couple sea turtle nests. The nests are there, but what happens is if the water covers the nest for too long, it, it drowns 
the little turtles, the little embryos in the eggs, they need oxygen to breathe. They actually breathe the oxygen that gets down through the sand, through their little shells, but if the water covers them up for too long, they drown. And we're pretty sure that happened to a couple of the nests. All you can do is keep your fingers crossed. That's, that's the reason why they lay so many eggs. <laughs> One in a thousand of those little guys survive to adulthood. They lay anywhere from 80 to 100 eggs at a time. Amazing. And they lay eggs more than once during the nesting season. That's what's interesting. They don't just come up and lay their eggs and that's it. They come up several times throughout the nesting season. Or they can come up several times. They can go back out and mate and Come back and lay more eggs. Pretty interesting. It takes around 50 days for the eggs to hatch. And please, please, please remember, do not, do not interfere with sea turtles. Don't touch them. No flash photography. Don't pick up the little hatchlings. If you happen to, by some miracle, get to see them emerging from a nest, it's an incredible sight. Keep your distance from them, please. No lights on your cameras. Turn your lights off along the beach. If you live on the beach. Lights off at night along the shoreline. If you get caught, molesting a sea turtle or interfering with it. If one of our state rangers or park rangers catch you, they will arrest you. So use some common sense if you happen to come across a sea turtle. Nice little cockle shell there, different colors. Usually we see the bright, they have those dark brown stripes. This one's got a little different coloration on it. A little rougher texture, the cockle shell. That looks like a really old jewel box shell. Look at that. Almost looks like a giant kitten's paw. Isn't that neat? That's pretty cool looking. Tide's getting out a little further here. Beautiful. Darn dred the dredging barges out there. Now that I see the guys got the bench moved back earlier, the park ranger, or was, Scott was helping the park ranger move that bench. See, they got to move back. Boy, a lot of shells right here. It's a little piece of a worm shell. 
No idea where it just went. Now there's a worm shell, another one. It's not the, what I was going for, but there's a nice little worm shell right there. really hard to by the time you spot something it's too late the waves are already already pulling it back into the water that happened to me all morning today of stuff washing up on the beach here but I cannot grab it by the time I spot it I can't grab it all happens Friday and Saturday in Alberto is just offshore right here this is probably a good five feet of beach that washed away here a good five feet I mean, you see the camera is right at my face. We lost a ton, a ton of great beach up here. hazy down to the south. I don't know if it's raining or if it's just haze. I'm gonna jump out on that sandbar real quick. See if I find anything out there. Good morning, Good morning. how are you doing today? Doing again? Oh yeah, <laughs> every, every chance I get. Sun's hitting the water here. Makes it a little easier to see the bottom. There's a cockle shell. I don't know if you can see it rolling around down there. You can see. Here it is. Right there's the cockle shell. Watch how quick it goes back. You gotta be pretty fast. You gotta have good eyes too to see something and grab it. Try to get out to that little sandbar quick where those waves are breaking. That's all new. There's a little shallow spot up here where you can get out onto it. You can see the colors of the water where it's dark. It gets pretty deep right there. And then up onto the sandbar. There's a little spot where you can walk out to it over here. Almost out in front of Roy. So I want to just take a quick walk out there. Maybe take a couple pictures from out there. It's a great little vantage point out there. Got a little pelican, little brown pelican swimming around out here looking for something to eat. Hey, bud. Let's see, it actually gets pretty deep right here in front of me, this dark green water. And then boom, you're up on the sandbar. There's a little place we can walk around right here. 
a little jog. in here it's not too bad gets a little it was about knee deep there let's go out to the far side of the sandbar first and we'll kind of circle around the outer edge and come back on the inner side of it I kind of thought this sandbar would be out of the water at low tide. I don't know. Great place to come out and have a look at the beach. Up and down. There's where Roy sits, right up in there. Just gonna walk north for a little bit here on the sandbar. See if I spot anything. Still a little cloudy, the water. Kind of hard to see. I thought I'd give it a try anyway. I'm not really seeing anything out here. That doesn't mean there isn't anything here. Lots of great shells are buried just below the sand, below the surface, and you really can't see them. Now turn around, head back towards Roy. Take a quick picture, hang on. Alrighty, I'm back. What's that down there? Piece of an old lightning whelk. Oh, piece of a tulip shell. Wow. Wouldn't that have been a great find? Just, uh-oh. Uh-oh, my battery's going dead. 
And there's a piece of an old tulip shell. Gonna get up to shore, say hi to Roy real quick, but I gotta end the live feed because the battery's going dead. I hate when that happens. Very shallow here. Oh, here's a couple live olive shells, I believe. Yep, two live olives, both of them. Both of them have the snails inside, beautiful olive shells. Just a little example of the sea life you can find out here. Both of these are alive. Two beautiful olives. Wow. Great looking shells. I'll put them back down next to each other. Who knows what they were getting ready to do, what I interrupted. Both of these have the snails inside. Pretty cool. There's an old whelk. Pretty worn out, pretty faded out there. I just want to say goodbye to Roy quick. I don't want him to think we forgot about him. The battery is getting low fast here. I want to make sure I'm able to save my video. Oh boy. Hey, how are you doing this morning? Good, Roy. Did you, save, did you save my shell? Uh, getting awful hot out in there. It is getting muggy. I'm going to go for my swim, I think, and cool off. Did you, yeah, I see you saved my shell for me. Thank you. Yeah. Great angel wing. Nice big angel wing shell. Well, guess what? My battery's about ready to. <laughs> you dropped your top. Drop. Battery's about ready to die here, so. I gotta turn the Facebook off. So we're gonna have to catch up on Facebook. Okay. Another morning. Anything but, you say. But say say hi and goodbye to everybody this hi morning. Hi and goodbye, everybody. <laughs> the glorious life. Come join us. <laughs> yep, absolutely. We Come want you join down us here. in paradise. Yep. Oh, it must be getting late. What time is it already? Heck. 8.30. 8.30? Not too late. Nope. I got an early start this morning. Yeah, you did. I don't know why this thing's going dead already, but. I did too. I wanted to get up and see that sunrise. I that was a nice one. Sunrise. That was a nice one. Wasn't that beautiful? Boy, oh boy. Well, we'll catch up tomorrow. Okay. All right. Are you off to the races? I'm off to the races. Good man. God bless you. Bless you, Rob. And tally ho. Tally ho, <laughs> All right, folks. Well, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this morning's beach walk. Remember, nobody pays me to do this. If you want to make a little contribution, it's always appreciated. You can find my PayPal account info in the description of this post a little later. Check back for a link to YouTube. I'll post a little higher quality version of this video. You can watch the whole thing there. Well, have a great Thursday wherever you might be watching from. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.